Days are wearing late and folk begin to tap the gate. Whilst we sit booze and at the nappy, getting food and unca happy. We think na nah, and the land Scott smiles, the mosses, the waters, the slaps and the styles that lie between us and our fame where sits our sulky sullen day, gathering our brows like gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth spun honest Tamashanta, as he free air, ain't did cancer. All the air is near a tune surpasses, for honest men and bonny lasses. Atam, hadst thou been so wise as tain thine own wife, Kate's advice? She taught thee weel thou wast a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken bellum, that frae November till October, a market neck thou wast not so. But up come ever with a mirror, thou sat as long as thou had served. And for every neg the cod a shoe on, the smith and thee got roar and fool. And at the Lord's house, e'en on Sunday, thou drank the Captain G until Monday. She prophesied that later soon thou wouldst be found deep drowned in dune, or catch of a warlocks in the back by Alloway's old haunt of Kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think how many counsel sweet, how many lengthened sage advices the husband through the wife despises. But, Terti, a market next, Tama got planted and correct. Fast by an ingle, blazing finely, the rain and swats that drank divinely. And at his elbow, Suter John, his ancient, trusty, brutal crony. Tom rode him like a very brother. They had been food for weeks together. The night brave on with songs and clatter, and I the ale was growing better. Tom and the landlady grew gracious with secret favours, sweet and precious. The landlord. Uh, the suitor told his queerest stories, the landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and wrestle, Tam did the mind the storm a whistle. Here mad to see a man so happy, he drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flee him were laid to treasure, the minutes wing their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed that Tam was glorious, for all the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread, you seize the flower, the bloom is shed, or like the snowfall on the river, a moment white, then gone forever, or like the borealis race, it flits ere you can point its place, or like the rainbow's lovely form, evanishing amid the storm. No man can tether time nor tide, the hour approaches, tall man ride, that hour of night's black axe the key stay, that dreary hour, Tom mounts his beast in, and sick a night he taps the road in, as near poor sinner were abroad in. The wind blew as it blown its last, the rattling showers rose on the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep, and land the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand the deal had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare meg, a better never lifted leg, Tom skelped on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst holding fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crinning o'er some old spot summit, whilst ploughing round the prudent cares list, bubbles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where geese and bullets nightly cry. By this time he was across the ford, but in the snow the chapman smoked. And past the burk and mickle stain, their drunken Charlie brat neck vain. And near the wind, up in the cairn, where hunters found the murder tail. And through the briar, briar and uh, near the, the, the thorn and the well, where Mungo's mother hanged herself. Before him, Dune pours all its flood, the doubling storm roars through the woods. The speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep, and long the thunder bellowed. That night, oh, wait, sorry, when glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirk Galloway seemed in a breeze. Through ilk aboard, the beams were glancing, and loud resounded, mirth and dancing. Inspired bold John Barleycorn, what dangers canst thou make us scorn? With tippany we fear, nay evil, 
but ask me we'll face the deal. The swat say rained on Tommy's noddle, fair play he care for me a bottle, but Maggie stood, right sair astonished, till by hand and heel admonished, she ventured forward on the light, and well, Tom saw an anchor sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance, Nicotarian bread new free France, that hornpipes, jigs, just bills and reels, put life and metal in their heels. A winnick bunker in the east, there sat old Nick in shape of beast, a towsy type, black, grim, and large. To give the music was his charge, he screwed the pipes and got them skirl till roof and rafters added their own. Coffins stood room like open presses to show the dead in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrip slate, each in his called hand held a light, by which heroic Tom was able to note upon the hairy table a murderer's banes and gibber tears, twa span lang wee and christened bears, five tomahawks with blood red rusted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter a babe's life had strangled, a knife a feather's throat had mangled, the grey hair stuck to the, yet to the heft, when my same son or life bereft. Three lawyers' tongues turned inside out, to a lie seemed like a beggar's quilt. Three priests' hearts, rotten, black as muck, they stink and vile in every nook. Well, near to tell, most horrible and awful, but for to name would be an offer. As Tommy stood, and as Tommy glowered, amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed their picket, to up the car and swat and rake it and push the drivers to the work, and let it at it in their sight. A tam, a tam, had they been queens, all plump and strapping in their teens, their cutty sarks of creasy flannel, been snow white seventeen under linen. These breeks of mine, my only pair that once were plush with big grey hair, had a game them off my parties, for a blink o' oh, thy bonny parties. But whether bedlam's old and drawl, right woody hags, would spain a foal, limping and flinging on a crummock, I wonder did I turn my stomach. But Tom kept what was what from Brawley. There was a winsome wench in Wally. That night enlisted in the corps, long after came on cart shore. For many a beast to dead she'd shot, and perished money of any boat, and shook both muffled corn and beer, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark the paisley harm, that whilst a lassie she had worn, in longitude, the soul is scanty, it was her best, and she was vanty. Ah, little came thy reverend granny, the sark she coughed for her wee nanny, the top and Scots, it was all her riches, would e'er a grace a dance of witches. Now hear my muse, her wings one core, such flights are far beyond her power, to see how nanny laughed and flang a supple jade she was, and strand. His tummy had stood like ain bewitched, and thought his very e'en in reach. E'en Satan glowered, and fidged through fame, and hutched and blew a might and main, till first he kept her sign, and never Tom tumps his reason all together, and roars out, Weel done, cutty sack! <laughs> and in an instant, oh. all was dark, and scarcely had he Maggie rallied, when out the hellish leech and sallied. As bees flee out pre angry bite when plundering herds assail their bite, as open pussy's mortal foes when pox she starts before their nose. As eager runs the market crowd when stop the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs, the witches follow, while money and eldritch screech and hollow. Ah, Tam, ah, Tam, they'll get thy fearing, in hell they'll roast thee like a hen. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, poor Kate will soon be a woeful woman. So do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and reach the keys to near the brig. For there at them thy tail may toss a running stream they down across. At her the key stain she could make a fate to tail, she had to shoot. For Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tom with furious ettle, but little was she, Maggie's metal. A leap brought off her master heel, but left behind her own great tail. 
Now whom this tale of truth shall read, Ilk man or mother son tap heed, When e'er to drink you are inclined, Or cut his hearts from in your mind, Think, ye may buy the joys, or oh dear, Remember, Tamashanter's mate. Oh.